All right, and we are live at RSI Roofing Supply Incorporated with Roofing on the Rise podcast, where we dive deep into the innovations of the roofing industry and the people that help bring the industry together. Today, we have a special guest, Darren Bro, CEO of Roofing Supply Incorporated. Darren, how are you doing today? Doing great, Marquise. You know, the uh, audience probably doesn't know, but this is our second take. Uh, we were five minutes in and the power down the street went out. So other than that, we're doing great. We're uh, here celebrating our second annual crawfish boil here at RSI. Um, bad roofing weather, but great crawfish weather. So come on out. We start at noon till three. Noon till three. Yes, sir. And the crawfish boil. Oh, well, yeah. Before we got cut off, we were talking about Roofing Supply Incorporated and how it came around. Um, so where did RSI come from? Well, we're a family-owned company. Um, uh, my, my, my father started the RSI back in the early 80s, uh, went through some transitions, um, and then we restarted it again back uh, in 2019. We are a family-owned company, uh, independent uh, distributor, and uh, just creating the best service and the best atmosphere we can and trying to uh, make our customers happy every day. So basically, when it comes down to account management, uh, there's there's very little that where they have to go above someone to be able to get something approved. Is that right? Uh, that's right. We can make our own decisions. Uh, not all, not all of them are right ones, but uh, we we give it a shot. So uh, you know, uh, the the, ch the the ladder is very short around here, so we don't have to go too far up the ladder to make a decision. Man, I love that. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things that. Uh, you get, you know, with, with doing business with uh, Roofing Supply Incorporated is that service, that customer service is really what a lot of people leave other companies to come to yours mm -hmm. because the service that they're getting. Um, you know, I know you can't necessarily talk about companies, but could you tell us, you know, about, uh, you know, some of the struggles that you've gone through to be able to help some of your clients? Well, you know, it, it's everybody says they have the best service in town and everybody's going to make a mistake. Everybody's going to have issues. It, it's how you handle adversity and how quickly you handle adversity that sets you apart. Uh, we feel that um, we handle adversity uh, much better than others. We, we really care when there's an issue and we, we strive to uh, correct it, learn from it so that we don't make it again and then solve the problem as quickly as we can. That's awesome. What kind of partnerships do you have here at RSI with the uh, shingle providers and and uh, commercial roof? You know, we uh, we support the major manufacturers: GAF, Certainty, Owens Corning. Uh, there's a couple of the brands that that we handle. Uh, some of the fighter brands, uh, BP. Uh, commercial wise, we handle uh, Certainty's uh, self adhered system. We also uh, are getting into Genflex, uh, TPO, uh, commercial roofing. And uh, so that's kind of where we're going these days. And as I can see, you're, you're mixing the board. Uh, we are not in a live studio today. We are actually in our showroom. Uh, so there will be some background noise, but I think it gives us a little uh, personality. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. One thing that I really like about this is that, um, you know, everybody's going to be able to see the journey. You know what I mean? Like, right. So we started one spot um, and, and where they're going to be able to see this podcast in a year and two years and five years from now. Um, I'm really excited to be able to do this. So I really appreciate, um, you know, not a lot of people know, but you actually have donated yeah. all this equipment in, in the studio room for for Roofing on the Rise. Um, I really do appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, if if, if the audience out there doesn't doesn't know, uh, Marquis is, is in the contracting business, but has a passion for, oh, podcasting and helping others learn about the industry and technology. So we've kind of partnered up and here at RSI. We have uh, a lot more office space than we really need. So we've converted uh, one of the back offices into a, a professional studio. So, um, you know, anybody who wants to partner with Marquise and do some podcasting to learn about the industry, teach about the industry, or just to get their word out about their company, uh, we're, I think we're all uh, more than happy to um, provide time and the space to do so. Absolutely. Uh, I'd be really excited. Um, you know, if you're a contractor mm -hmm. and you're watching right now, um, and you're tuning in and you're coming to RSI and you'd like to sit down with me and go over your company, the innovations that you bring to the industry, or maybe you just want to showcase your company and say, Hey, look, we are out there. Um, I'd love to get you on. Just grab me, grab Darren, grab Jeff, uh, grab Miro, and they will get this thing taken care of. We actually have a couple uh, recorded podcasts that are scheduled for today. 
Um, one, if you see the metal roofing behind us, we're going to have uh, Worth House building products. Um, they're going to come up and they're going to uh, do some uh, podcast and, and they're going to go over the innovations that they have for the metal roofing systems and also the, the gutter systems. Um, and then later on, we may have a solar company. Um, and then Saturday, tomorrow, we have a scheduled broadcast with a roofer that is out of state. Um, got in my DMs at like 1130 at night. And oh my goodness. Yeah, he actually he, you know, he friended me <clears throat> and um and then I friended him back and, and and he goes, Hey, um, you know, I'm sorry that the uh the roof dawns down. Oh my goodness. And I was like, What? He goes, I guess I won the most interesting message award. Oh. And I was like, That's great. You certainly did. Yeah. And we started talking, and and this dude is amazing he's got an awesome uh standing with the bbb the way in which that he does business is awesome um very 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 awesome to be able to have somebody showcased and and show their innovation in the roofing industry yeah and so we will have a uh, contractor tomorrow that'll be on so i'm pretty excited about that yeah Darren, I'd like to talk a little bit uh you know about the people that you have um working here at rsi you know it, it, people is what we're in the business of. Um, could you go, you know, how, how you selected people? Cause that's something that we, we've been talking about on, on this broadcast. Yeah. A lot of, most of the folks here uh, have been working for um, roofing supply in one form of fashion, anywhere from, uh, you know, 20 plus years. Uh, a lot of the folks were from the original company uh, back in the early two thousands. And, uh, uh, a lot of the the warehouse delivery, uh, dispatch operations those those are all seasoned people that have been with with the company and uh, in in this industry a long time. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, new faces. Uh, always good to bring a new faces and new youth. Uh, so we're always looking for anybody that uh, could fit our um, our personality and our style to, uh, you know, help themselves be successful and to help the company be successful. That's so, awesome. Hey, don't forget, we have a crawfish boil today. You remember that? Oh, yeah, the crawfish yeah. boil. Yeah. Oh, rain, and rain. Yeah, yes. More rain, more crawfish. So, guys, don't think just because it's raining, uh, we're not having a crawfish boil. We are having a crawfish boil. It's going down, actually. It's going down. I mean, even losing power is not stopping us. No, we like, were getting ready to go get a generator. Oh, yeah. To keep this live. I'm 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 really excited about this because uh you know it's the second annual crawfish boil. Uh, we're expected to have double oh, the yeah. amount of people that were here last mm -hmm. year. Um so you know let's talk about that. You know, last year shout out to Dion. Dion, how long you been at the company, Dion? Dion. How long you been in the supply company? 17. 17 years. Now he's cooking crawfish. All right, thank you. All right. We're live he's here at the, the RSI showroom. He's the crawl daddy. All right. So, um, BP, yeah. Uh, how many companies in Houston are authorized to sell BP? Uh, yeah, we're the only location, um, I think, even in Texas that has a BP. It's a, uh, it's a, it, it's a company out of Canada, um, very similar to uh, an ICO. It is uh, gives a Class Three um, impact rating for uh, for the normal price of uh, regular shingles. So it, it's a good value. It's uh, it can provide some value, uh, some good unique colors, and some options for folks who um, are not looking to spend a whole lot of money. Absolutely, you get a lot of value with it. Lots of value. I know I've put on probably hundreds of these BP roofs. Um, I love the the roofing. Um, you know, one thing that they have innovated here in the last year is the ridge cap. Oh yeah. Um, you know, so a, a lot of you guys that are down on the coast. Um, I know a lot of people uh, worry about ridge caps, um, whether or not that the approved ridge cap is going to be good enough or will withstand the wind. Um, and, you know, I'm here to say that, you know, BP does have an upgraded ridge cap. So I know there was a lot oh, of yeah. people out there last year that was kind of griping about it. And I, I was even one of those. Yeah, yeah we, d we did well in the last year, two years. Um, when there were supply issues, we were able to get the BP shingle and uh, multiple colors so uh, it, it has a place you know it's not going to replace the industry but it is a it is definitely a good option you know bp was actually at uh, ire this year oh yeah yeah i think they were uh, the last couple of years yeah yeah they also have a, a shingle called manoir which is behind me it uh it, it replicates the old capstone uh which was discontinued 
oh, 10 plus years ago. So, so that's, that's a great option. I love anybody, look, anybody looking for a designer roof on a regular shingle budget, it, you can't beat it. And there's Jeff Schmeckle. Jeff Schmeckle is in the house. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So that man war, actually, I, I you know, I put on a couple of those. Um, right. Very, very awesome shingle. Looks really, really great. Yep. Adheres properly to the deck. Um, so that's one thing that, you know, when people look at uh, shingles, I know that's something that I look at shingles. Whenever somebody wants an impact resistant shingle, I'm like, okay, well, here are a couple options that, that we have. Uh, BP is one of those options. It is. Um, and generally, if they don't pick certain teed or ICO, they're going for that BP. So yeah. it, it, it's another thing that I can throw onto my estimates that's good, better, and best. Uh, and and really, really helps catapult me um, in the industry. So I'm really, really glad that y'all made that partnership. Well, appreciate it. So um, whenever BP came down, you know, uh, what are some of the things that that they were inquiring about? Like, I, I, I've never gotten into uh, exclusivity with uh, shingle providers and things like that. So what was that meeting like? You, you know, uh, I don't know. It, it just kind of worked. We were, it was a time when uh, things were hard to get. Uh, they wanted to break into the southern United States market. Uh, we provided that option. Uh, we've worked very well together. Uh, they're the kind of company who, uh, once they find something they like, they stick with it, uh, and not, you know. Uh, I think I guess we I guess we both created value in each other. And uh, again, I think that's one of the things that that RSI tries to pro to uh, provide for their customer is value. You can you can buy a lot of these shingles anywhere at home depot lows uh but we tr try to provide some extra value other than having to uh, you know walk through the store with a cart to pick your stuff up so uh you know i, th I think the value is the is the thing that we try and focus on the most i i, I would agree you know um I, i'm just going to be honest <laughs> like the follow-up game is really really awesome yeah um you know i primarily deal with jeff and my my office staff deals with jeff for yep. orders and uh and he's on top of it i mean even this morning you know with all this podcast stuff going on yep. we had one order that needed to go out for next week um and i told him last night that i'd have it out to him and i forgot yep. and he was like hey i know everything's going but you got that order i was like yes sir i do got that order into him so you know we're going to be on time and on schedule because there is a level of professionality that comes out of roofing supply incorporated i'm really really excited about that oh yeah I, you know I, I i don't think our company ever shuts down <clears throat> we have a uh, orders email that uh, we try and funnel all the orders to i i have it personally as one of mine uh, emails on my phone so any time of the day um, somebody usually knows there's an order uh, we can't necessarily pull it in the middle of the night we can't deliver it in the middle of the night but most of us know there's an order uh, waiting in the morning, so um, we we can all try and follow up on it. Absolutely, you know. Uh, let's talk about hurricanes. Okay. Um, you know, hurricanes is a big big deal. A lot mm -hmm. of contractors right now we're we're either waiting for a large roofing uh, or a storm to for for the roofing industry uh, in Houston, or we're looking for a hurricane. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I know that you guys helped during Hurricane Ida, uh, as you guys shipped a ton of underlayment so that the um the people um there would would be taken care of uh as well as uh, being able to take care of the clients that are here um that need help so you know when it comes down to storms whenever you're where you got an influx of people that are ordering from you yep. and a lack of materials how do you deal with that you know um I don't know that there's really going to be a severe lack of materials. Um, you know, there, there's so much capacity in the United States that um, th there will be material. Now, you may not be able to get the brand in the color and the style that you want exactly when you want it, but there will be material available. Um, you know, the best thing is you have to be patient. You have to give your homeowner options, and you also have to be um, – you know, honest with them and tell them these are the lead times. These are the options that you have and, 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 you know, have a first or second option and then your business will function well. But if you're trying to get a, a, a certain style and a certain color, um, it may take time. So, and if, if you live that life, it's going to be tough. But if you, if you keep your options open, um, things should work out fairly well. 
Absolutely. So, you know, and that's one of the reasons why we brought BP on because, you know, people couldn't get colors in the last two years. Uh, BP offered all the colors that everybody else had, but it was a different brand. And uh, people, people like that. They were either brand loyal or color loyal. And we had both. I think I'm more of a color loyal type person, but yeah, it, it, I guess it, yeah, right. Yeah. It depends upon the client. Um, you know, one thing that, that I really like about your company is, is I get a, a, um, a statement that's like an inventory list. Oh yeah. That shows yep. what you have on hand and yep. what you don't. Yeah. So, you know, that's something that, uh, that I get here at RSI that I don't get anywhere else. Yeah. That was, we don't do it as much now. Um, but that was very important when, product was short yeah you know uh, today most of the time we have all the brand all the major brands with the with the major colors in stock but you know the last two years it was tough you know you couldn't find a bark wood you couldn't find a hickory and that list um getting out to the customers was pretty helpful because they could they could manage their jobs uh, much easier if they knew what was available and what was not available exactly yeah, yeah. That's really key. I mean, you know, in business, you got to have that. Right. Um, you know, what are some of the things that you like to do aside from business? Oh, you know, I just spend time with the kids. Got a couple of kids in college. Got one uh, still in uh, middle school. Uh, I enjoy cars. I like cars. Got a couple of cars. So what kind of cars do you got? Oh, I got a 1990 Fox Body Mustang, a 1987 300ZX, Ooh. and also a 2017 Chevy SS. So Ooh, that Chevy SS. It is. It's it's. That's something else. Did I hear track mode earlier? Oh, it was track mode. Uh, this special track mode just found it. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am so, so excited to be yeah. here. Did we say that, did we mention that there's crawfish today? I think there's crawfish today. I think there's crawfish today. All day long. All day long yeah. here at RSI. So if you're rain or rain or shine. Or shine. That's it. Crawfish. Yeah. And cervezas. That's right. Now, if you don't drink, that's cool. I am one of those oh, yeah. guys. But if you do drink and you do eat crawfish, this is the spot. This to, is it. You got to come down here. Roofing right. Supply Incorporated. Yep. And we're going to wrap up this podcast here. It's going to be a, a, a short little mini segment. I'm yep. uh, really excited to have this today and be able to showcase contractors as well as Roofing Supply Incorporated and Worth House building yeah. products yeah. here at one o'clock. Can we do some shout outs? Because there's a couple of vendors in the house. We uh, can do a couple of uh, shout outs. Let's uh, do that. Uh, Attic Breeze, uh, Michael Warren's here supporting RSI and his uh, his products. And uh, Wart House is here. Yeah. Wart House. That's it. The uh, you know, fine metal roofing panels. You know, those are, uh, I'm actually really, really excited to have, um, you know, Kevin Schaefer come up on the podcast because, you know, not a lot of people understand what this metal roofing really is. And, and that, that metal roofing is 33% comprises 33% of the European roofing market as, as right now, that's over a third of the roofs that oh are goodness. in Europe. Yep. That is absolutely exciting. So being able to bring him on today is going to be awesome. Y'all tune in live at one We're going to have a broadcast with worth house building products. Might even have a uh, attic breeze. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, uh, you Let's know. see if Michael wants to do that. He... There we go. All right. You guys, thank you so much for joining Roofing on the Rise podcast, where we go over the innovations, people that bring the innovation to the roofing industry. Y'all have a wonderful day. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are we out?